click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel to get latest notifications and updates about my videos click on this bell icon hi friends in this video i'm going to explain one of the basic tutorial for the beginners this is the vertical tank i designed in the already design this is the pdf drawing this is the image drawing and the pdf drawings are available in my description link you also download these drawings you can also practice in your autocad softwares uh, this is the drawing i mentioned the all the dimensions 9 <coughs> 250 and the 1750 and the 500 in between three parts are there the part one and part two and part three this is also explained in 3d katia tutorials also i will explain in this <coughs> next videos then the 150 nb nozzle is there two types of one 150 nb nozzles are there 400 diameter of the square nozzle is there i will explain you first draw the line by using the line command 1750 and i'm taking the middle part first 1750 and check the dimension by using linear this is the 1750 i want to change the dimension style go into the dimension style manager by click on d enter and i'm going the arrow size and i'm giving the arrow size to 20 and the text height to 40 and click on ok because it is looking small the 1750 i'm not okay with this dimension that i am again i'm changing the dimension by using d enter the dimension style manager dialog box will appear and the text height is 50 i'm giving 60 and click on ok and close see this dimension is ok for me then i want to proceed the another line by using the line command l enter this is the 900 id the internal diameter of the shell is 900 id by using the line command l enter and the line specify next point 900 i'm taking the 900 distance and again i am drawing the vertical line of 1750 and the horizontal line of 900 all dimensions are in mm only and i am giving the thickness because the thickness of the shell is 3 is giving i am giving the offset command o enter simply offset the lines on the outside border of the two lines i construct the two lines by using the offset command by using the dimension linear i am checking the dimension 3 thickness 900 and 73 the part the middle part is completed next i want to develop the uh, upper part and the middle part uh, lower part the 900 id and 3 thickness uh, by using the uh, double click on the any of the dimension you can also also edit the dimension by using the double click on the any of the dimension you can also edit as your own dimensions and i'm giving the 20 thickness in between the part one and the part two one of the flange is there i'm construct the flange it's showing the 20 uh, the total thickness is 20 individual part is it has two parts it has two flanges one is 10 thickness and the one is 10 thickness it combines it form to 20 mm thickness mm is nothing but millimeters and 20 i am giving <coughs> by using line command first draw the 20 line of the horizontal line and 10 vertical line again draw the 20 horizontal line and intersect to the point one of the flange is completed like this it looks like a small rectangle the rectangle dimensions of 20 length and the width is 10 mm see in the drawing it not mentioned i am mentioning the all of the dimensions 20 thickness and 20, 10 thickness and the 20 width <coughs> or 20 length or the 10 height as your wish and the rectangle command i am using the small rectangle on the same on the object by using the mirror command simply mirror the object on the top side also same the top it also required the 10 mm thickness flange by using the line command l enter draw the 250 height because the height of the shell of the part one is 250 i am drawing the line off by using the line command l enter i am giving the 250 height see i am giving the 250 height of distance See, this is the 250 height is mentioned on the drawing and by using the line command i'm giving the 250 height on the above small vertical line of 250 i'm changing the dimension see from the middle to the middle it is uh, showing 1750 i want to reduce the 10 mm thickness because the, we required only 1750 height by using the line commands and the trim operations i'm deleting the all of the unnecessary lines what i required 
1750 i am deleting the 10 mm thickness by using this operations you can observe on the screen by using the trim command i am trimming the all of the objects tr double enter this is the shortcut and tr double enter and double and i am deleting the all the lines and simply checking the dimension by using linear see in the as built it's showing 1750 the 1750 dimension is okay then i want to proceed for the uh, next drawing and uh, all the dimensions is completed and the flange two flange are also completed i am giving the line by using the line command of 250 height um, check the dimension by using linear i am giving the 250 height and again i am giving the 900 id 900 line of the horizontal line same as the horizontal line i am giving you can also offset to 250 250 also so many methods to develop this drawing i'm explaining in my, my case i am developing like this you can also develop in different types of methods not only in this method different types of methods to develop this drawing because the dimension should must should be perfect by using the mirror command and mirror the two lines and the two objects are same because i'm mirroring like this and by using the mirror command studio is helpful for beginners autocad learners also and i'm giving the 250 dimension see it is showing 260 in the middle to middle on the top the dimension is 250 already mentioned in the drawing you can also check by using this drawing in description the drawing is provided in my description link you can also observe this drawing in your autocad files and offset select object to offset by using the trim command trim down water lines after offsetting the all of the lines to 3 mm thickness and delete all the lines the two parts are completed next how to develop the cone the vertical uh, column is completed nothing but the vertical tank is completed and next you are going to the hatch command by using the hatch command hit center and select the object and give the solid material as your wish and click on ok the flanges are completed as what you observed on the right side of the drawing and i want to construct the cone and go on to the bottom 400 and the 400 one of the square square type nozzle is there i am constructing 400 into 400 by using the rectangle command and draw the line and specify the center point where you uh, where the point is constant with the center point place that place this nozzle on the center point on 1750 half you get the one of the middle point is there on the middle point simply drag the object by using the move command and select the center point and select the what the reference lines you draw on that and simply copy that object onto the where the center point is constant with this center point you can attach this nozzle on the center point it will easy to construct <coughs> see the center point i can <coughs> it will constant with the center point and the mm thickness is 3 mm again i'm going to move command and select the center point and intersect onto the middle okay the midpoint is showing then you can also observe 870 like this you can also check the dimensions i'm deleting this next i want to develop the <coughs> cone the square nozzle is completed already explained the nozzles flanges and the nozzle how to create the nozzles and how to develop the nozzles in my previous tutorials i will show you also where you can observe and where you can watch the videos and how to develop this and next i want to construct the cone the it is the 150 nb nozzle the 150 id is nothing but a uh, 150 nb nozzle has dimensions of 150 id and the 168 od of the pipe uh, i'm taking the 150 line c 150 nb nozzle flange 280 od into 2, 170 id already mentioned in the drawing 168 od into 150 id as per the ansi b16.5 standard flange as for the 150 lb flanges um, <coughs> constructing uh, as per the dimension of AS, asm b16 standards and by using the line command draw the line of 150 and intersect the same point to the end point of the vertical line then <coughs> intersect the line with the what you measure the thickness you can attach the line to the end point of the line 
and click on offset command or enter and give the 3 mm thickness again you can to mirror the command you can also mirror the command you can also draw the um, draw the lines by using the line command also if you use the mirror command um, the drawing <coughs> is done very fast method the fast method by using the all operations and i'm selecting the 70 500 height the whole check the dimension is 500 or not this is 500 mm okay and next i want to give the all the drawing is completed next i want to give the all of the dimensions what you created on the previous what the drawing i mentioned by using the linear i'm constructing this all the drawing by using the linear check the dimension 400 or not okay the vertical tank is completed with the one of three parts one of the top part is the cap and the vertical tank middle is the shell and the small shell on the top it is covered with the all of the column and the bottom the cone is there already explained in the how to develop a cone in AutoCAD and how to develop in fabrication also I'll explain the previous tutorials and the 3d models also have so many tutorials as explain about these individual parts I am explaining see this is the top and this is the bottom two types of nodules are there on the 150 NB nozzle flange and 280 OD as per the standards and B16.5 standard and 280 OD into 170 ID into 25 thick this is the PCD 241 PCD I will show you on my next tutorials I will give the one of the isometric drawing also how to develop this type of objects in AutoCAD this is the 150 NB nozzle again I am <coughs> typing 150M nodules, two numbers, and the flange and the OD. The flange OD is 280 OD, and the 170 ID is the internal diameter, and the 25 thick is the thickness, and the PCD is 241 PCD. And I think the whole season, I think, eight holes as our wish. Mm, you can. 8 holes and 150 NB 2 number flange 280 OD and 2 VC and 2 then 22 thick flange you can use for this object and the 168 OD and the pipe is the dimensions of 150 pipe is the OD of the pipe is 168 and 158 ID you can also observe this all of the dimensions in different types of charts are available in Google you can also search the different types of standard flanges are available in internet you can also download this you can follow the all of the dimension pipe dimensions and the standard pipe dimensions you can construct the drawing this type of data required for to develop the any of the drawing for to develop the any of the pressure vessels any of the drawing the data is required this is nothing but a design data general design data is required to develop the any of the any of the draftsman required the general data as compared with the general data you can develop the any of the model uh, without any general data without any fabrication methods by seeing or watching you cannot develop the drawings these are all of the i'm explaining about the industrial drawings not the not the not all of the general drawings these are the industrial drawings what types of rules they are follow what types of required dimensions what type of required standards they are required you can also observe these di di videos in my playlist also i am opening my channel see the Foschner and the flanges videos open the flanges videos i'll explain all of the introduction to flanges and how to draw the all types of flanges well neck flangel and 2d blind flanges different types of flanges are available in my previous videos i am showing with my arrow mark also to introduction to flanges and how to draw a 2d blind flange in autocad and the 3d I will explain all the tutorials in my previous tutorials. I will explain the tutorials in my next tutorials also. I will explain how to draw the nodules again. Uh, this is the model of the vertical tank drawing.